My name is Adnan Sharif. I am currently a senior here. I've been in HIS since the seventh grade, so this will be my sixth year here. Um, I'm a Bangladeshi Canadian. I was born in Japan. As of now, I'm the student body president in the school. Our literature teacher assigned us to do a project called the Huskies Legacy Project. The Huskies are all about guidelines. Guidelines of how you should act in school, how you should act in life, how you should act at home, how you should act out in society. I'd say the Huskies is like our Ten Commandments here at school. Um, the H stands for Honest Learners and Leaders. The U stands for Understanding Collaborators. The S is so Solution Creators. And the list goes on. But they're just words until we don't do anything about them. And the Husky Legacy Project is all about doing all those things. So we created an online portfolio and we listed out all the Huskies, the H, the U, the S, and all the little sub-pages to that. And basically in those sub-pages, you have to write about different aspects and virtues of those letters, like grit, leadership, consistency, discipline. And you have to show evidence to people that you actually show those things and you actually do those things. Being a leader at the school, I have to set an example for everybody. I have to be the, the big brother, kind of. And the big brother always has to know things. The big brother always has to be there to help people out. And the big brother has to be the ones that made all the mistakes and learned from it. The Huskies teach you virtues, and you take in those virtues. And the project makes you find evidence and makes you take that action and write it down and show people that you've showed grit. It was an opportunity for me to reflect on what I did through my six years of the school. And I was like, wow, I did all of that in that short amount of time. Pretty proud of myself. As I graduate, I hope to leave a legacy in the school. I've done what I can as a student here. I've worked really hard trying to make a garden outside of our dorm, making fundraisers that will last a long time to help people that are less privileged, like the One Yen Drive, supporting the Terry Fox Run in Sapporo, and helping raise cancer awareness. I'm Cheryl Oda, and this is my 20th year at HIS. I think one uh, aspect of HIS that I really am so happy to be a part of is our unique curriculum. Um, it, of course, has the academic aspect that all schools have, but we also have a, an emphasis on the arts and on leadership from our early years program all the way up to our seniors in high school. We are thinking of what will help this child grow into the person that they're meant to be. Instead of delivering lecture content, pour into the child type of approach, we use a lot of workshop approach, which puts the learner at the center. The learner takes responsibility for choices that they make. The teacher is more like a coach, but Coaching the child along the path of their own individual development. So uh, in our language arts, the child is encouraged to choose the book that they will read at their level to grow in their understanding of reading. In writing, they choose the topics that they will write on within the genre that we're working on. Um, a lot of our math is differentiated. We also have special language needs. Um, a lot of our speakers are not native speakers. So that's taken into consideration too. What can I do as a coach teacher for this child to help them to grow, not just in their understanding of subject, but also in their ability to use English as their language of learning. At HIS, every other day they get a full period of art, graphic art, of music, of drama, of PE and of another language. So I think that's a, a really wonderful thing. Our science, social studies, geography, and history um, is called International Primary Curriculum. And that is a special curriculum that, again, it's, it's similar to the workshop approach, 
that the child, the children as a class, um, explore a theme. It's very powerful. My name is Rishi Dixit and I'm a junior at HIS right now and I joined the basketball team in ninth grade but then this year I sort of thought that maybe the basketball team isn't enough and since even though football is such an international sport I can't play it at all so then I decided to join the football team this year. So it's been a great experience, I've not been, I've not really been the person learning a sport for about three years or something ever since 10th grade I was the older person in the JV team and then this year I was the co-captain of the varsity team so then like learning or playing football it's just a whole new experience so then I have all these people teaching me how to use my feet, how to kick the ball, this is how you play defense and stuff and it's really been a great experience. Playing sports here at HIS I've learned how to act as a team more than as an individual even outside of the school. I can use the communication skills that I've gained from playing as a team and use it to connect with people outside of the school. So then by taking that and applying it to real life circumstances in like the social way, then it really helps out. I coached the junior varsity middle school basketball team and I think what I gained from that is the how to how to be confident. Like until until then, I was never that confident about stuff. But then, being the being the complete leader of what's going on, being the leader of practice and telling the boys what to do and stuff. That I think that really added added a sense of leadership to my personality, which I think I can use in the future, even outside of HIS in college or in the workspace in the future. I think this school is great because even if a sports club doesn't exist, then the students can create it by themselves or they could make, even if it's not a team, they can make a small time club. For instance, we have a, an ultimate frisbee club which happens almost every year. And you don't need to be completely committed to it, but you can just play sports, which really helps out with the teamwork, the collaboration, everything like that and it really gives a lot of opportunities to students and I love that about it.